Good afternoon, Randomizer fans, and welcome to Fall Fantasy Randomizer Winter Tournament Chaos's Winter Carnival. My name is Lord Fizzlebeef. Joining me in the booth today is Classic Gamer76. How's it going, man? It's going excellent. I am hyped for this race. We got a real wild ride today. We've got quite the set of optional flag changes. We have trap treasure chests on. They're all going to be marked. What's in them? All the rare gear in the game. <laughs> and we've also got, um, we've got Shuffle Lastos, but at safe locations only. And we've got, uh, Swap Stairs, which is one of the more interesting, uh, map alterations for dungeons. What do you think about those, uh, optional flags? Those are pretty interesting. I mean, I think I've tried optional stairs once or twice, and it really throws one off. Mark Trek's Trap Treasure Chest, I love seeing that because I know where the good gear is. Mm -hmm. So you see, both runners have the same party, Fighter, Thief, White, Black. How about those blur scenes for those classes? Well, let's start with the forced ones. On Fighter, we got forced... Um, we got plus 40 health to start, we got plus 800 gold to our starting pool, but the dreaded no ribbon, so better hope we find a wall caster or we start relying on that thief. We're ta we then come down to our forced black mage, we got plus 2 to level 1 MP, they can equip shirts out of the gate, and all they have to suffer is minus 10 agility, which they're not doing anything with it anyway. And the then thief has a... No, no, go ahead. All right. The Thief has a fighter sword bonus, and if I read that right, plus 4,000 GP. That's great. But the Malice <laughs> is promo red wizard armor, so mm -hmm. find that flame armor, ice shield. The Thief won't be able to use those. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen the free gold go as high as 4,000. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. So I'm wondering if that was a typo on the Blursing site. We'll find out when they go to a shop. Yes, the White Mage has a bonus plus Invis 2 and a plus 20 strength if you're desperate with Thor Hammer strats. The Mouse, though, is minus 15 HP, which can hurt early. Mm -hmm. I mean, the free Invis 2 is great, don't get me wrong, but nothing else there really sets me alight in either a positive or negative way. Yes, if you find the white shirt, you have your Invis 2 right there, so... Yeah, by the could, time you're really using it, it's the end of the game. Yeah, we could, um, if we uh, throw the white shirt somewhere else, we could have two Invis 2 casters for our boss fights, which is a lot, lot better than it sounds. And we're off. What do we got in white magic out of the gate? We've got Harm 2 and Expert and Invis 2 again. And over in Black Magic, we got Fire 3 and Lock, I guess. Okay, early spells. There's also Confuse if you really want to go for the meme carry straps. Yeah. So over in the Armor Shop, Gold plus 2 bracelets, but very, very expensive. And over in Weapons, a Silver plus 5 dagger. It's better than everything else on offer. We'll run that. Plus five is definitely a pretty good bonus there. Should help for a while until we find a more in-game-ish sword. Mm -hmm. Kind of expensive houses out of the item shop, but at least we can fill up on heals immediately with our just tons and tons of free gold that we started with. But it yeah. really was plus 4,000. It... Ail... <laughs> it's nuts. Like, normally you start with 400 gold. Today our players started with 5,200. <laughs> Yeah. Ale and Chat point out this was the second time he'd seen plus 4,000. I don't recall ever having seen that before. And already Swap Stairs asserting itself in the Temple of Fiends. We start at the top. Deal with it. Starting at the top of that just makes me think of the final Topher 
floor <laughs> really throws you off. Uh-huh. So not much in the top left boxes. Bottom left boxes, even worse. Let's see if we get out of Garland. Although it's kind of, uh, kind of difficult getting to Garland, this encounter table is just... Seems very dense early on. A pretty front loaded. So hate first through Garland, leveling up to two, and we got what do we got? We got the chimes and the canal. Okay, you'll love to see either the ship or the canal out of the Royals. Yes, that will. You have the second one, the ship. We know that'll really open up exploration. Maybe we'll have a nice vanilla ship in Provoca. So, a question I put to you. If we do get what we want, we get the ship out of Bicky. You've got ship and canal in hand. Where do you go next? Do you go for ice or marsh, or do you decide the heck with it, we're headed straight for Bahamut? Mm, that's a good question, I know. Because but Bahamut has that free, easy incentive, and I've seen a couple times this tournament where it has been, or led to the tail, so you could actually get that quick early promotion, or you could find a fetch quest that leads to that, or maybe even your loot or something. Mm -hmm. And already we've got some problems with these uh, trapped boxes. We have bones and a crawl, ordinarily fine, except they've got skills and they know how to use them. The crawl opens with heat, takes out some casters, and hate hate wants this box. Like I don't know what's in here, but we want it. This time he gets the preemptive strike, so maybe we'll have a little better luck. Harm 2 is probably going to clean up this encounter. Ooh, not quite against the crawls. Needs the fire 3 to get there. What was all that hard work for? A giant minus 3 sword. <laughs> well, if you're somehow looking for money, you've got <laughs> a little source of it. That's true. Infinite Tape, meanwhile, checking out level 2 white magic. We got Cure 3, Wall, and I guess Heal 2. We don't have any red mages, so yeah, we can load up on it. Yeah, but Wall's a big find because that fighter has that no ribbon malice. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, over in black magic, we got Fire 2 and Temper. Oh, and the hits just keep coming for hate after slogging against the crawls with heat. Here's Mad Ponies with Trance and Frost. <laughs> At least Mad Ponies you won't see too many more times, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And Grimps with Glare. This is a deadly inner sea. I think seeing that, I would, like, yeah. if I get Grimps the boat here, Grimps will see again I'm in Earth. <laughs> yes. At least down to Elfland, where there are no such encounters, of course. What other surprises Ooh. are waiting there? Infinite Tape did not talk to Bicky after killing the pirates. Ooh. I'm leaning you hate forward. to see that. I'm leaning forward. Are we are we going to remember on the way back around? Meanwhile, we did see Temper at level 2, and he's remembering. Whew. That is one of the rites of passages, is to forget to talk to Bicky, or forget oh, no. to talk to the Royals. Oh, and we walked past Bicky again. Oh, we're heading left. We're heading left. <laughs> we got there. We got the crown. Okay. Whew. Whew. It's, it's safe. Everything's safe. Everybody stand down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tape looks like he might be heading towards Crescent or Ice. I'm fascinated to see where we end up going with this. I I wonder if we're just going all in ice or if we're just heading down to Crescent. Yeah, we're heading down to Crescent. 
pick up the free incentive there. Maybe check out to see what level six magic is. Mm -hmm. We're lucky. Maybe find the uh, vendor item. And the frightening deadliness of the inner sea continues. We got ogres with first spell nuke. <laughs> and those we'll see all over the place. Mm -hmm. So that comment I made earlier about heading to Elfland, where hopefully you wouldn't <laughs> run into the nasty stuff. Um, scratch that. Yeah, nah. Pa pack your bags. We're heading for Cardia. There's no ogres <laughs> there. They can't get us. I think, Fizzle, what do you think about Nordeal's play possibly here as well? <laughs> well, it's not in the Southern Hemisphere, so right now I love it. Vendor Herb for sale in Crescent Lake. Ooh, Gloves plus five. A rare find that would be good for these mages right now. Until we can get some, you know, pro rings. Life two at level six magic. That would be white lock, except no one has a red mage anyway. Right. And over in black magic, we've got ice three. Yeah. That's a pretty strong spell, especially against those annoying waters mm -hmm. that are. And from and hate gets a hot dog from the food truck in the park. Hate gets a hot dog. I hear there's a guy over by Melbourne that loves those things. Yeah, that's what I heard too. He finds them absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I think that one he got has all that guy's favorite condiments on it, too. <laughs> oh, hate headed for Volcano. Gonna clear out the armory. See how many fun boxes and encounters we can get. Interesting, he did not save before going in. Now, this is a bold strategy. No, no, here we go. Now we're saving. Uh, while Infinite Tape is heading in an ice-like direction... No, we're backtracking even more to Provoka. I wonder if he's taking the long way around the Elfland, but he can get there from Crescent Lake, so this is interesting. And more inner sea nastiness. Which had gaze there? Was that the werewolves? I think that was Grimps. So hate checking for marked boxes. Squiggle left is a marked box. But we kind of already knew that because that was one of the better trap boxes. Something killed Infinite Tape's fire. Did we actually see Death Touch? Or is it just low on HP? Unknown. Looks like they, uh, thank you Tracker Danny, they got taken down by Glare. Something, something out there has Glare. That might have been Grimp's After Gaze, or that might have been their first skill. Yes, this is a nasty, nasty inner scene. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, I think I saw three. Uh, four marked boxes down here in the armory. See what armory has. It's usually, you can usually find some pretty good equipment in there. Uh, Worms and Wyverns, can we take those down? I don't think the Bane Sword's gonna pan out the way we want. Fire 3 no, might Bane... be okay. Oh. I don't recall the Bane Sword's odds offhand, but they're not too good. I don't know if they're quite 3 and 256, but right. it would over for 4 there. I don't remember where Worm and Wyvern MDef is, but meanwhile, Infinite Tape, walking left to Northwest Castle, picks up the floater. That's a big find right there. Mm -hmm. The inner sea can't hurt us if we're in the air. He heads south and right to get his airship. Sees an ogre, enters panic mode, goes to fire everything. <laughs> the Bane Sword goes off. No nukes today. <laughs> That's my response when I see something I know has a nasty AoE. <laughs> Just throw out strongest stuff and hope. <laughs> Pray for turn order. Level 3 magic that we're seeing for the first time. We got level 3 lightning 3, quad X, and warp. 
And in white, we have arm four. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. And the hits keep coming for hate. That was Rock Galls with Quad X guarding a box. Uh, meanwhile, level four magic. We got fade. Hooray. And we got fade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It looks like he's not going to check out the armor shop. He's going to head out just as like, I'm done with this whole inner sea place. <laughs> and I am cringing every time I see an ogre. <laughs> Infinite tape heading south. Gonna go get a flying airboat. Meanwhile, hey, what are we getting out of boxes? Let's see what this one has. An opal hat. Oh. Yay! Well, your knight won't be able to wear a ribbon, so... <laughs> I, I, I guess. Ooh, Gerbiduces. This ain't bad. Well, this is good tile, especially for experience. I mean, if they rolled some nasty touch mm -hmm. attack, you can have problems. So, what Hate's doing here is he's running away from the encounter and then reopening the box. What he's doing is he's trying to fish out an encounter with as many Germaduces as possible. Uh, unfortunately, they're allowing him to melee, and Germaduces, as it turns out, rolled a teensy bit up in the strength department and just detonated his party. That's another problem with uh, monsters with multiple hit attacks. Is mm -hmm. They roll up. They can be pretty devastating, especially when you have a mage that doesn't have any armor. Mm-hmm. For the tapes, Titan, you know, it's kind of old-fashioned. He likes his rubies. He's just one for hot dogs so much. Yeah. Se sees the ogre, fires everything. Yeah. Time hate. Wasting well, no time with Germaduces, just blows them away. Dragon plus one sword, that's not too bad. So first thing out of the Titan Sarda check, we get the um, the TNT. Oh no, we did check Sarda first, and we got the slab from that. If the tape probably head back to Melmond and translate that, definitely head to Dwarves and check the TNT at some point. Meanwhile, hate back on the Worm Wyvern box. There was something in here that we liked. Or maybe there was something in here that we don't know what it is. Yeah, I remember he got the Opal Helmet, but I don't remember if it was from that box. No, that was from the Image Wraith box. Only the There's White Fast Mage. at level 5. Oh, free gold bracelet. Given that we have no other armor in sight, sure, we'll take it. Yes, definitely take that. Those things are expensive, and like you just said, no armor in sight. No wonder those Grimmerdusas hit so hard. Ooh, and he banana peels into the gargoyles, but gets away. See what the TNT gives us. It gives us a Vorpal minus one. That's mm. not great. It's not terrible. You always like to see that roll up. Did we... Oh, Vorpal bring... plus... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna ask, <laughs> okay, did we reset? Or does that white mage have life? Looking at our spells that we have so far, we didn't find life until level 5... Life 2 at level 6, so no, that was a reset to bring the party back to life. And the hits continue for hate. Fire's giving him the business there. <laughs> Nothing here. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Muck with stone wiped. Ouch. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, hey, a Sanaga water tile. Normally, I would be happy to see this, but I look at 
Well, the waters are just casting Flash. Flash isn't bad. And Hate says, nope, we're done with that. We're going to go elsewhere. Yeah, the question is, what do they have after Flash? Mm -hmm. And like, Hate, hate, hate having... is headed in the direction of Ice Cave. Sorry. No, go for it. We'll get used to this. <laughs> yeah. Hate headed in the direction of Ice Cave or Infinite Tape. Pretty is. I see wizards have sleep. That's annoying, but not really dangerous. Mm -hmm. I think I might be commentator cursing it myself. There's a first time for everything, but you know, <laughs> could ice be much worse than that inner sea? <laughs> so. What could be in here that we would hate? Now, it's worth noting that I believe there are some A-side tile... No, wait, hang on. We didn't muck with the tiles. There could be some box encounters that contain things we already know to be deadly. And also, Ale could get the boat here, which would send him potentially in a direction far away from where the floater is at Northwest Castle. Yes, I mean, that would make ordeals more convenient for him, but that's just more temptation to spend more time, you know, not in the air. But mm -hmm. then again, could this seed be relatively floaterless or not require much for the floater? I mean, potentially, but when the floater is so immediately free, like, like you gotta go get it. Yes, I mean, there are no encounters in the air yet. <laughs> Till, I till I remember. the devs get wind of that. Yep. Yes, exactly. <laughs> of course, those mucks with um, Glance, that's going to make Marsh just that bit nastier, too, if they have to dive it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we landed the Power Gauntlet out of the, um, out of the trap box on that Earth floor. Finally, that... things are looking up. Yes, that is always a good find, of course. You do take time sabering up when you could be getting tempered, but if you end up in man mode or something, especially, it could be a lifesaver. Okay, looks like the incentive in Ice Cave is the bottle, as Infinite Tape picks that up. And Hate's looking for the stairs. You gotta be somewhere. Of course, the more time you spend looking for the stairs, the better chances you get to have a nasty encounter, which odds of that are pretty good in ice anyway. Turns out the stairs were where they normally are all along. And that sounds like a dig, but that is not a thing you can always count on in shuffle stairs. <laughs> yeah. That'd be like, like the last place you'd look sometimes. It's surely mm -hmm. shuffled somewhere. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, a trap box. Oh, hey, it's Mux. Boy. Oh. There's one glance. Second glance missed. Infinite tape learns the joys of the Mux. There's... And that's a full set of stoned characters for hate. Oh, they also have Blizzard, too. Oh. So if you survive the status effect, you just go down to damage. Great. And Infinite Tape says, nope, I don't want any of that. Goodbye. I mean, for all we know, ice is not required. That's, I think, mm -hmm. my favorite type of ice cave is not required. Mm -hmm. Infinite Tape checking out Bahamas, see if he can loot some treasure, you know, find the key item. Is adamant, so no lazy Bahamut today. Hope it'll be funny if Smithy has the tail, though. Checking the easy boxes Here, take first this. before we go for the three on the left. <laughs> Super. 
Go for it. Silver plus five armor is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, comment in chat. This seed seems hostile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good way to put it. Especially with the inner sea. Mm -hmm. What's our adamant? We know turn that we have glance loot? and. We get a loot. Loot. So required Bahamut. Oh. Gonna tape snubs the hooray dwarf. He went right in your path, and you just walked around him. Ah, oh, these kids today, no manners. Well, hate finds a seafood party platter, and it gives him the business, just like many other things have had. And he's done with ice. Not that I can blame him. So, having smashed his seven iron into the ground in Volcano, and then taken it and smashed it into the ground in Ice Cave, let's see the next destination that Hate has a very bad time in. Well, he's going to be in the Inner Sea, so I'd say whatever destination he's going to, he could have a pretty bad time. I think we have, what, we have 50-50 chance of like marsh where we get the boat and we just say no we're leaving or no we're going back to volcano oh interesting oh hate into the tape checking out onrak bringing back his mages which got bodied i think by the some of the river creatures mm -hmm. they're all nasty up here so Oh, and Hate gets immediately bounced out of Volcano, remembers that it's the bad place, and is headed elsewhere. The tape plays a little music to cheer everyone up. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in Elfland. We're going to pick up our party members, we're going to pick up possibly some magic, and then we're going to make the crucial decision of do we do Marsh first, or do we turn in this crown that we're holding? Yes, hopefully Wilhelm to turn in the crown. I mean, that's an easy check. Astos isn't buffed or anything. Of course, he's shuffled, but I think we actually saw that he was in Northwest. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, um, Tracker Danny pointing out, uh, we think Hate might have gone back to Volcano trying to get herb money. That's a possibility, but with how much it kicked our teeth in the last time, I think I would just throw my hands up in the air and do a Crescent Lake grind. And our... Waterfall was, I believe, the chimes. Oh, Proc Gen nope. Waterfall. I love Proc Gen Waterfall personally. <laughs> of course, if it's not Proc Gen Waterfall, it might as well be with Shuffle Stairs, but it looks like you did. Whoa! Up, up and right didn't work. Truly, the end times are upon nope. us. Yep. Hate, meanwhile, is going in the marsh. Oh, hate. Yeah. Hate, we know the crawls are in here. Hate, please. <laughs> the mucks are in here, too. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Can Infinite Tape out? finds the, um, finds, finds the eye tile. Finds the right eye tile. Seen a lot of the wrong eye tile in the past uh -huh. few races. Level 10 across the board for him. Crystal from the robot, so... Now, Crystal in hand, would you simply head straight to Matoya, or would you perhaps check around somewhere? I think uh, with the vendor item at a known location, and without Oxiel in hand, 
I kind of just want to find stuff, so I think I just turn in the crystal immediately. And there's his ship. Yeah. Oh. It's just going to lead hate around unless he just goes to Northwest and says, I'll take this while I'm here. Of course, the question is then, if you get the ship and then the floater, it's like, well, Ordeals is easier to get to by ship. Do I take the ship there or do I just go by airship? Given that our ship will still be in the inner sea, that's that's a really long time to sail to get over there. Um, I would just take the walk from the floater landing spot. Unfortunately, Hate is not going to Northwest. He just wants to rest up in Marsh. So Infinite Tape is doing an eye grind, and I have to note here, he's taking the grind by stepping up and down off the tile. That is going to advance the encounter table, making it not a safe grind. So this might result in uh-oh at some point. And speaking of uh-oh, Hate says, Nay, nay, crown turning is for suckers. We're doing Ruby. Oh, boy. And so small, subtle things like you mentioned, you know, going down to, you know, get, make the tile safe instead of up, that can make a big difference. How many off-tile encounter disasters have you seen during races, Fuzzle? Um, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, it's one of those, like, it's, it's one of those things you never forget. It's one of... <sighs> The best teacher for always taking the safe path is dying to an off step um, off the tile where it could have been safe, but you just didn't. That's the kind of thing that really sticks in your brain after that. And just for the rest of the time, it'd just be like, nope, safe tile, safe tile, safe tile. Experience is a harsh teacher, but she's a good one. <laughs> TNT in hand, maybe Hate will say, oh, I should head up Northwest Castle while I'm in the vicinity. Hate, please go see Astos. Yeah. <laughs> Chat, the real best teacher is when that happens in the sea. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ooh, and hate with what I believe was the rare. Oops, I for the save didn't quite stick before I mashed reset. That's always a fun one too. It it's one of those. It's happened to all of us. It's one of those things. You know, you think you hit tap the A button twice and you didn't quite get there, and you mash reset and you were wherever you were previously. It's like. What happened? Hate is now looking, probably going to check out the trap tiles in Earth, see if he finds anything good. Well, we haven't found Agama yet, so that could be over here. I don't think we've seen any of the red, blue, or zombie details either. That bear's not so great, though. Alright, decided against checking Earth tiles. Gonna check out Melmond real quick, see what's in the gear shop. Is uh, No, we're gonna translate our slab while we remember to. Of course, one of the things is, once you translate that, you have to remember that you translate it because it disappears from your inventory. <laughs> And the tape's still grinding on those eyes. I mean, eyes are great for solo characters. They're not as much for full party, though. Mm -hmm. It's safe, but it's very slow. Looks like Infinite Tape's going to call the grind at 20. 
as hate. Now, once again, Northwest Castle was right there, and we sailed past it. Get his herb, so it looks like he plans to head back to Elfland at least. But as soon as he goes to Northwest and finds the floater there, he's going to be kicking himself and then, mm -hmm. of course, wondering, oh my gosh, did my opponent do this 20 minutes ago? Mm -hmm. How do you be feeling about your equipment at this point? I mean, you found the Vorpal, but it was minus one. I mean, you've got Silver Dagger plus five, which is... I mean, I wouldn't quite call that in-game. So, I have a look at my available spells to kind of answer that. So, I've only got one Black Caster, technically one and a half. So, I've got level two Temper, so I've got one and a half casters for that. I've got Fast already. It's at level five, which is fine. Um, I've got a Power Gauntlet, which... I, I would feel like I could maybe make that Vorpal work, but I would really prefer to get a solo grind off the ground. Meanwhile, we see that Peeds also had tramps on Hate's side. I mean, Hate's finding all the nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Infinite Tape turns in the crystal, gets the rod. Right now, our both our runners are basically a key from Go Mode. Well, Hate still needs to get um, Floater in the loot, and we are sailing to the opposite end of the world from the Floater. But the key could be in Ordeals, so this might work out. Not to where, to where it looks like Hate is heading. Meanwhile, Infinite Tape is going to take round two versus Ice. I have many memories of Ice myself, few of them good. <laughs> Ice is fine when you understand that it's a place that needs to be respected, but if you, like, if you treat it well, you can usually haul some pretty good early levels out of there. Having Warper Exit really helps a lot there, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, checking out the trap tiles and finds the not as menacing ogres. Actually, we don't know what the grogers and whiz ogres have yet, but probably isn't nuke at least. I don't think they had anything. At least I don't remember them doing anything. I know we saw them a bunch in Volcano. Yeah, question chat. What what's hate doing? Acquiring all the fetch before doing the quests? There's two possibilities. Either we memory hold crown, or we've decided that we don't want to touch Northwest Castle until we both have until we have both crown and key in hand, so we can just check the tiles and then um, like do everything in like one fell swoop. Hate skipping boxes because he sees that they're marked and is just like, nah, never mind. <laughs> I think he's leaning at a 45 degree angle due to the inner sea. That might be possible. This has been like a scary, ferocious inner sea. Yeah, this is the worst, well, the worst I can recall seeing. My first time on comms, I get <laughs> doozy of the inner sea and cube for hate. So sky's on the table for him if he really wants it. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, over in Gaia, we've got level 7 Nuke and Cure 4. Anything fun at level 8? Brack, I guess. Right, yeah. I mean, I've gotten some mileage from Hold in the past, but mm -hmm. level 8, you're not going to have too many chaos. <laughs> and there's our and your mileage exit. may vary. So that key puts infinite tape in go mode. 
Also means we have a floater required seed because that came from the bottle. Meanwhile, hey, what did we get out of ordeals? It was all right. The cube, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. An interesting choice of a dungeon that they can do for their second orb. I think. I mean, usually everyone takes volcano because you don't need any items to get to that. But mm -hmm. you know, sky. You know, you have your walking grind. You have a lot of chests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I um, if I really want to do a party grind, Sky is where I would do it. Um, normally, it's a problem because you need two items to get inside instead of just the one. But if you already have them and you have the opportunity and you find yourself in the area, it's not a bad idea. He equips that pro rig and it's his lone piece of armor. See if he remembers where the gold plus fives are and if he has the money for them. Meanwhile, Bane Sword actually doing some work on the wyverns and worms. Alright, so we haul a Zeus Gauntlet out, which is not really going to solve any of our major problems right now. Now we have plenty of AoE sweepers. Light Axe plus 5, that's a lot better than the Silver plus 5 daggers we're swinging. Yes it is, that is a serviceable in-game weapon. It's not the best in-game weapon, but it definitely will work. Mm -hmm. Okay, with, you know, herb, TNT, and adamant, you know, the whole area around Northwest is calling you hate. Mm -hmm. You know you want to. And we're heading towards a suspicious river. Okay, we're heading left. All right, we're turning in the herb. See what the elf prince gives us. da 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 Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, ribbon ribbon. plus three. We need those. Yes, the more ribbons, the merrier. After the tape finds the Germadusas and is not messing around with them. Uh, meanwhile, hey, heading east from Elfland. Nope, heading west. Nope, resetting. Heading west. Well, maybe sailing just to avoid walking that area because. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, going by boat's definitely better. Yes. Faster, you don't have nuke ogres. Hey. Hey, Northwest Castle's right down there. Hey. Hey, please. Hey. Hey. Well, he's probably thinking I can get two Her oh. here and then. Down there, and, and hey, puts the hooray dwarf out of his misery. Oh. Well, we got a loot. Let's turn in the TNT. We got our he Vorpal. Picking up his Vorpal. Hey, it's right down there. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Oh. oh. No pun intended, you hate to see it. So Infinite Tape in Volcano headed down towards our first Fiend kill on stream. Overall having a much easier time in Volcano than Hate did, probably on account of the stonking levels. Well, Hate looks like he wants to take on Ice again, or feels that he needs to. Mm -hmm. I don't think Hate ever got to the incentive item, so he doesn't know it was the bottle. Or no, wait, well, don't maybe... we have early warp? Oh, would he have had charges for it? 
He didn't save outside again. Bold strategy, knowing what's in here. Even the tape continuing to go through Volcano, who finds the stairs on the Agama floor, heading down to take on Carrie. Is that what I think it was? Oh, it's a thief. Okay, so we got a second thief behind Carrie, should we choose to take it. How are we going to handle this fight? We're going to go with some good old-fashioned Fade, and Nuke, and Bonk. Bonk goes off, and Nuke goes out for 310, Test Swing, 4 hits 87, so that's pretty good. Incoming Fire 2 doesn't do a hell heck of a lot, Fade goes out. For 172, down goes Carry. Well, it's just in race the other day, we saw Dengwu replace a Thief with a Thief, because when you get the... Mm -hmm. Level ups, replacing the character, apparently, it's always the max roll. That was a trick I didn't even know about until the other day. That is it's gonna interesting. Take, yeah. The tape either doesn't know about it or decides not to use it. Probably the former. So, Infinite Tape also gonna hand in a fetch quests, get some stuff, probably also get a ribbon out of it. Yeah, ribbon was there. While Hate... I know I saw him open the incentive in here, saw that it was Bottle. Hey, please go to Northwest Castle. <laughs> I mean, there aren't too many places left at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there'd be... I don't think he's been to Waterfall yet, but... Who, Infinite Tape? Oh, no, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, we could U-turn and head for Waterfall, but I am... I am willing the idea of Waterfall into him. I am too. Meanwhile, Infinite Tape finds the Oxhale in Corneria Locked. Hmm. He's probably the least popular dungeon to do in this flag set for a large number of reasons. <laughs> Um, question chat, uh, what was Slab turned in? Did we go to Marsh? We did go to Marsh. Um, we have not turned in Slab, and it looks like that's what we're about to do over on Infinite Tape side. Of course, you know, going to Lafayne, you always want to do that after promotion to get that Superstore, but if the tail's there, or if that's at least the tail's there, eh, not much you can do about that. And shout-outs to our wonderful tracker, Danny, who has deduced that, yes, Slab will be Tail. There is nothing else it could be. Well, hey, taking the long way out of ice, have we had enough? <laughs> Which I can totally understand. Uh-huh. Just remember, please say because you can get those new gogers right outside of ice. Mm -hmm. So there's our Lafayne tail, and hate makes it out with the bottle. Northwest, you know you hey. want to. There's a ca it's a nice castle. It's a little rundown. It's a fixer-upper. It has a nice, kindly old king there. You could help him out with the crown. Do not turn north. Keep going east. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got there. Oh, Infinite Tape taking his tail and going to promote now.
Oh, you thought you were going to promote, but it was me, Astos, King of the Elves! And blinking you miss it, Astos has gone faster than a lich one. <laughs> So, hate in the air, call it the 47 15 mark. He's got some work to do. Yes, he does. Well, he's looking going to turn in his bottle, so he should be getting his key item from that. It was the loot, wasn't it? Uh, oh, that was, was the key. key. Yeah, yeah. So, this will put I him just in remember go it required. mode. Yeah. And with all the sailing around earlier, we did pick up the Vorpal and the Ribbon, and we've got a Slab in hand that we did turn in, so we could go get Tail. Hay could be relatively back in this if we just head straight to Lefane. Yes. Faster boat helps there, but I know, mm -hmm. I couldn't go back to slow boat. <laughs> It's one of the, yeah, it's just like faster map movement. Once you have it, you can't go back. It's just not possible. No, I could not play the vanilla NES game anymore. Mm -hmm. No, improved vanilla forever. <laughs> Demon Frog Yes, but there's the... <laughs> Challenging me to a putt putt boat race. Now, you gotta wait for that. Ah, <laughs> uh, fond memories there. <laughs> From the perspective of the audience. <laughs> the tape trying to decide on his weapon. Settling on the Vorpal minus one when we're already at level 23, I don't hate it. I'm assuming that that is our... Well, no, we do We do have to do one more dungeon. And it looks like our options are either sea or earth. Looks like we're going to go for sea for the better grinding along the way and also so we avoid the nuclear ogres. Yes. Not to mention the other surprises Earth might have. Mm -hmm. Seven so Anrak has heal three and a bunch of trash. All right, the heal three is good though. We take that. That's castable. Yes. And hate goes to promote, but it was me, Astos! <laughs> and none of the dragons there noticed. I mean, to be fair, it seems like they're all on coffee break elsewhere. Oh no, those two dragons! They're facing south? They're not facing north. If they turned around, they would have noticed Astos. Yes, but, you know... Orders are probably strictly to face south, you know, watch for incoming <laughs> light warriors or anything. Mm -hmm. If it had tape, meanwhile, in C. Fading mermaids like everyone does. I don't think I've seen a mermaid's check yet this tournament. Maybe one. No, it would... If we were going to see one, this is the flag set where I wouldn't hate to see one just because all the rare gear is in marked boxes. Like, you just kind of poke your head in the rooms, and if you don't see what you want, you just slam reset and head out. Yes. Carbonate bubbles while you're there, of course. I mean, I guess... Now, Hate and Mirage looking to see if he can find some good treasure in there. Probably looking for a weapon. Um, the Vorpal Minus One will do, but, like, we need better. Yep. 
Meanwhile, hey, Infinite Tape just found the Flame Sword. Plus two, I think that was. Okay, that's deeply medium. Trolls with Fire 3, that's... Oh, well, it could be worse. So, Infinite Tape rounding the corner on the Kraken 1 floor, about to light 2nd Orb, probably headed straight into Topher after that. Meanwhile, Hate looking to claw back time in Sea Shrine, but op er, in um, Mirage Sky, but going to be opening a lot of boxes in here, I fear. I fear you are correct. Ooh, Ice Plus 3 Sword. That might be our new winner for Endgame Weapon. Yes, that's a pretty ice weapon. That'll definitely work for the end game. And ice plus three, light axe plus five, that's definitely doable. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have a power bonk. Minus one shield is not what we're going for. Yeah. And one thing he might not remember is that the ninja cannot equip that. Mm -hmm. All right, infinite tape versus Kraken. Here we go. We're gonna bonk up. Are we going for Bane strats? Nope. We're gonna do a test swing. What is our white mage doing? We're going for evasion. And Fasting the Night, Ninja Swings for very little damage. Invis 2 goes off. What's Kraken got? It's got Poison Touch, which is not the most relevant status effect in a world on a fight like this. We're going to try some more Bonk Strats, some more Swinging In. No, Evasion. We're going to keep the Evasion going, and we're going to Temper that Night. Two hits, two damage. Thanks, Ninja. Invis 2 going off. I suspect we're going to go on the offense next round. Yep. That knight is going to swing with a heck of a lot more horsepower than that ninja will. And we're going to fast the ninja. Incoming melee takes the knight down to 230. Bade for 296 is going to help. 8 hits, 8 damage. Thanks, ninja. 7 hits, 744. Those are real numbers. Down goes Kraken. And we walk right past the Black Mage, and I don't blame him. Yes, one of the drawbacks to replacing your characters, if you the same one, is you lose all your spells. You don't want to go around getting them again. Mm -hmm. Hate meanwhile, greater than, less than, We're looking for marked boxes and finding one. Let's see what we get here. If we were hoping for Katana to save us, it's minus one. Well, a Katana minus one is better than a Vorpal minus one. That is technically a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> that is relative. <laughs> Take me while it looks like he's ready to dive Topher. Mm -hmm. So the continued clearing of greater than less than lands us a ruse stick. That, I wonder if that's going to be the last thing we are looking for. Meanwhile, Infinite Tape checking a marked box here in TOF lock. Gets up to 25 across the board. Free sorcerers, free experience. Yep. I mean, I think at level 25, the tape has to be happy with his level, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to check the marked boxes and see, you know, you might find some good equipment there. <laughs> sorcerers have a script, though. As long as we make it through, that's eh, fine. Yep. What do we get? Excal minus three. <laughs> it's a bad day for swords. Yes, it's definitely a bad day for swords. Question in chat, how was Knight Learnable Magic? Well, at level 1, we could have had an Invis 2. Um, at level 2, 
we've got uh, heal two and wall and cure three, uh, and that's about it. The store is you know, locked actually, by the Mystic Key. Yep. Well, that actually Viz two cast never hurts. I don't think we've seen the white shirt yet, so you have to mm -hmm. cast all our Invis twos. Uh, question chat, is the minus three just minus three power? Not quite. It is, in fact, worse than that. So let's think about um, pluses and minuses for weapons this way. Each plus or minus is individual, like each point of it is equivalent to three power and uh, no, two power, three crit rate and enough hit percent that it basically shaves an entire level off of breakpoint or adds an entire level to the breakpoint. So if something is minus three, that's that's a lot of power it's losing, that's a lot of crit it's losing, and you need three extra levels just to get the next hit that you are looking for. So that's yeah, bad the for the minuses. The doesn't have a lot of... Yeah, bad for the minuses, but great for the pluses. Yes. Exhale does not have a lot of crit to start with. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Trance Scene on Vampires, I think we can confirm that was the Medusa script, especially since they followed up with Frost. Ah, uh, that could be it. If it was I've Trance seen that on Frost, yeah. Yep. Seen that on three different monsters. That's generally a sign you have the Medusa script, although... Mm -hmm. At least it wasn't Nuke that was on the Medusa script. Mm-hmm. All right, and hate is in sky as infinite tape is on third floor. Topher running from Gasties—that's a telltale sign. We're doing a serious mode dive. Phantom on the Phantom tile, innovative. Nice vanilla flavored Phantom that everyone will like. Want to skip? <laughs> mm-hmm. Hate's still going for the boxes. I guess he's not happy with his equipment. No, he, he's desperate for some kind of, like, decent weapon that rolls up. Of course, he doesn't know is that the Excal also rolled down. It's mm -hmm. probably what he would be looking for. Yeah, Excal down, Vorpal down, Katana down. Uh, the ice is at plus three. That's pretty real good. Uh, outside of defense or sun, I think ice is going to be the best we have today. Also, has a light X plus five, which I actually think will be a little higher damage wise, but it might be lower on the crit. I'm not sure. The light axe is roughly in the ballpark of a silver sword, so if the ice rolls up, that's just going to blow it out of the water. Oh, infinite tape taking on which two, briefly. <laughs> what the? Rub? Working? In my FFR? No, that, no. Yes. Uh, Infinite Tape's like, understand to be a little bit surprised by that development. Of course, <laughs> that knight doesn't have ribbons, and I don't think he has a pearl ring on it. Well, we're going to have to come up with a non-knight-based plan. And I guess that involves casting Temper early. 8 hit 74, thanks Ninja. Made for 316. Alright, let's just let's just all agree that didn't happen and move on to the first real fiend of Topher, Gary 2. Of course, if Infinite Tape wipes, especially on like a Kraken 2 or a Tia 2, hey could end up right back in this. Well, he's still got his second orb to light, but. Well, Kato's pretty quick. Mm hmm. Oh, chat correcting me. Apparently the light plus five axe is actually roughly on par with an ice plus four. It would just have a lower hit rate. Depending on where the break points are, I'd still take the ice, but um, maybe maybe I'm undervaluing a light plus five axe. Oh, hey, it's a carry fight. It tried lightning too. We're trying fade. Swing the Vorpal. Six hits 94. Uh, question chat. Don't the axes have terrible crit rate, though? Um, 
I don't know about their crit rate necessarily. The axes all have terrible accuracy. Yeah, I don't remember. I thought I looked at the light axes crit the other day, and this was a blessed one, and it wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. So it'd be another reason to go with the ice sword. Meanwhile, hate on the bridge of destiny. Will we see a wormack? Carry going for fire three against the party six at six thirty. Infinite tape is through carry two. Of course, that will be coming up the real gatekeeper, which will be, of course, our friend Kraken, the hugger of the White Wizard. Topher is known as Great Equalizer for a reason. Meanwhile, Hate is taking on Tiamat. Let's see what happens here. Going for some, mm -hmm. you know, fast evasion. Test swing for Ninja. Four hits, 21. Good job, Ninja. All right, it's Kraken 2 time. Going for Bane Sword strats with some evasion. We don't have a lot of tempers left, but we're going to use a couple here. Bane doesn't hit. It's 3 and 256. Invis 2 goes off. Temper goes off. Kraken opens with nuclear. 200 damage to the ninja and the white mage, bringing... Basically, everybody that's not the knight down to around 150. Are we going for healing? We're going for healing. We have three tempers left. We're going to save them. We're using a fast. Ninja swings and misses. That is a sign of danger. Incoming melee detonates that white mage. Swing, a couple hundred damage. We're using more tempers to get through this encounter. We're only going to have two left on that Black Mage for the rest of the dungeon. Kraken trying Quadex, not getting anywhere. We've got four nukes, it's time to start using them. Four hits 282, down goes Kraken 2, but at what cost? Yep, Infinite Tape losing his White Mage against Kraken 2, which... I mean, if you've played this game enough, you should be used to that happening, but... <laughs> you know, no Life Caster, no Heal 3 Caster... Oh, and we tried moving the ribbon over, but nope, no ribbons for you today, sir. Hate also, finding the cure four. I don't know if that knight has wall. Self wall might not be the worst idea in the world. No, it wouldn't be. I mean, that's a strategy you don't see too often, but. It works, especially when you have that no ribbon mounts, or you just couldn't find ribbons. Mm-hmm. No mark in chat, at this point, <laughs> ribbon's going on the... <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it should. It's not, but it should. <laughs> Let's try Tia 2. We've got Power Gauntlet strats. Tia opens with fast. If Tia clings to the spell list, that's basically a free turn. Yeah, the ninja didn't have any magic, so it's just those two tempers left, of which we're spending one here. Incoming ink, we're two for two on free turns. Ninja, three hits, 46. Not great. We fired off the last temper. No, sorry. Are we firing off the last temper? Or are we nuking? We're nuking. Test swing, out of that Vorpal. Six hits, 617. That's a good number. Four hits, four damage. That's not... 10 hits, 698. Tia to that knight. We no longer have a knight. It's time to consider what we're doing here. 3 hits for 69 out of the ninja. Nuke for 176. Tia's still there. This fight needs to end this turn. Nuke for 135. We get there. This is scary. Very scary. Remember, the ninja doesn't have access to its normal armor, and I don't think even a tape f has a gold plus five. That would be very useful here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we have for evasion gear. We don't have a ruse stick or a defense sword, so that's a bummer. Yeah, we can move the silver armor down. That's 
Ooh, you want? Yep, there you go. Um, I would start cannibalizing from that black mage. That Procate plus four can live up on that ninja. Yes, it can. Especially since the ninja can't use you know, fire ice shields, but Procate plus four is at least as strong, I would think. Mm -hmm. And we're keeping the ninja up in the higher slot. Fast, going off, bonk, going off. Lightning 2, and it looks like we didn't equip the ribbon. Incoming Tornado does a number to that Black Mage, but at least we still have kind of some health on that ninja. It's time to swing. What are we doing? Chug strats? Chug strats. Test swing with that Vorpal. 7 hits, 383. That's an okay start. Punch from Chaos takes us down to 3 health. We chug a pot on the ground. Ice 2 takes us down to our Black Mage. Do we have just whatever insta-kill? We throw out a nuke. We got four health left. You got any Banes or Quakes in there? Anything? Nope. We're just going to fire three. And down goes Infinite Tape. And Infinite Tape leaving, bro. He needs something more or another spell or... He's heading. Looks like he might be headed to Lafayne to get to the Superstore to find some mm -hmm. match. Maybe he's going to get Wall on that night. Mm -hmm. You know, hate about to take on Carrie here. Yeah, I see that right. Is he using the Viz Two on the Knight, or was that the White Mage? Um, I don't think the Knight had any spells. Yeah, so I must have just. Yeah, because the knight just attacked, so... Yeah. Did that knight learn wall? Was that the... I looked away from the store. <laughs> I think he learned one of the other spells. I don't know if it learned wall. same time hate also going to the level two store that's where all the good stuff was and he did get wall on the night from the looks of it Lafayne's a bit of a long walk, but you can pick up all the spells you need almost when the Superstore is on. And you can't pick up the Gaia ones. But... That's true. It's one of those cases of, like, if I would have to hit multiple towns to get all the spells I need, I go to Lafayne. If it's just one level I'm interested in, like level 2 or level 3, then just go to that one town and get it. Well, Hate looks like he's going to stock up on his heal potions and get ready to go into Topher. We have ourselves a race. Mm -hmm. And Chaffer Jesus Frog, if the ninja is still alive after you've done about 1,500 damage, you can start throwing out Quad X. Of course, it would be more effective with X Fur. <laughs> uh, yes, much more effective. Yeah in that it would be effective. Unfortunately, Chaos does resist death, so there's, um, because uh, Quad X is a power word spell, uh, there's no rolling against the magic resist table or anything, it's just a check of, does it resist death? Yes? Okay, never works. Hey, checking out the hint bats, of course, that might have just been because one was in the way, but I always like to see that. Oh, that's one of those things I understand I should check. Um, but it's like... That information usually falls out of my brain and by the time I get to, like, the Fiend itself. And it's just like, oh yeah, this is the thing I was supposed to watch out for that's currently killing me. Like, Infinite Tape looking for a grind? Yes. Like he's, he's found some... Found some nice tasty sandwiches up in the upper right corner of the desert. 
Kate finds a vanilla-coated phantom. Yeah, chat commenting that there seems to be a lot of walks, uh, a lot of long walks, in the early part of this encounter table. The tape had cut himself up a nice juicy steak, or Tyro's is known to some. Mm -hmm. Oop, all please rise. This run is blessed. We have the blue steak. Hey, ticket on Lich 2, going with a bunch of melee and fire 2. Exactly the respect that Lich deserves. Yes. <laughs> Harm 4 because... You're not worth my fade charges, Lich. Mm -hmm. Lich does not have as much luck with the rub this time around. And now on to the real fiend refights. Now for the tape starting his own second two for dive. Did you see what Hate's levels were? So, coming out of Sky, I believe it was around the same mid-twenties area. I remember seeing Infinite Tape, he was at level 25 and they did a little grinding, so he's, you know, probably at least 26 by now. Oh, I just missed it. Looks like Infinite Tape hit 27. It's not bad. Gives you at least two level 8 charges should you need them. Uh, looks like Hate's last character was at 26. Okay, so roughly equivalent levels between our two runners here, but Hate is further in, currently on the Carry 2 fight, doing reasonably okay. The Black Mage is in trouble. Oh, that melee strike doesn't make it through. Neither does that one. 600 damage in a single round. Carry 2 still there. Let's try that again. 502 down goes Carry 2. Right, if the tape ready for his second Witch 2 fight, probably remembering that rub. Definitely remembering if he's going to use a fade charge. A new come out, which two still there. Round two, this time we go with harm four. But no, we went back and changed it and Lich fires out a lightning too, does very little and hates on Kraken too. We're going to just slam on the brakes and hit do all the walls, all the invis 2s, fast temper, nothing but buffs and evasion strats for round one. Where are we pivoting? We are. There goes Fade and a temper coming out in a moment. Fade hits for 206. Incoming melee misses the ninja in the top slot. Two hits 81 out of the night. And I missed what the ninja had going on. Let's incoming nuclear 300 damage to the thief in the top slot. Two hits 120 out of the night. Hey Katana, how you doing? Six hits 449. We're gonna try cure fouring and see if we get there. Katana gets in first. 636. Hate is on the tier two. Well, if the tapes fighting carry two again, let's see what happened. But he justified to use a. Heal three, and considering do I... You have Nuke and Lock two at level seven, and only two charges left. And I missed what he actually did. Might have been that fire three that rolled up. As hate 
to get a steps up to Tia 2. Again, Ruse Wall, Fast, and Invis 2. A very defensive posture out of the gate. This is Hate's first trip in here. He hasn't seen the Fast. He hasn't seen that Fast will just crush a knight for 700 damage. We're flipping to power immediately. Ice Sword, 3 hits 3 damage. Thanks, Ice Sword. Incoming melee misses the ninja. Even fasted, Tia cannot find purchase. 7 hits 294 is a good start. Tia flips down to the knight. 7 hits around 250 damage. We're going to cure 3 to keep it topped off. Lock, because we're having a little bit of problems with evasion. Cure 3 goes off. Fire 2... Does kind of a lot to that Black Mage, but not a lot anywhere else. Three hits, three damage. Thanks, guys. Ooh, melee crit gets through on the ninja for 257. That is a bit dangerous. We're gonna blow one of our cure fours here. What do we got left? Eh, there's some nukes. Melee strike to the white mage. It's still there. This Tia is not able to take down any of these light warriors, and a nuke gets us through. You know, Infinite Tape's not far behind, already back to Kraken 2, and visiting up, getting the evasion up. Lock 2! And of course, Kraken leads off of a new killer, which better than melee when you don't have a lot of evasion. At least sometimes, depends on the rolls. <laughs> tape considering, and he's going to fast. The ninja? Yes. He hits 552, that's a pretty good strike there. Meanwhile... Hate's about to take on Chaos. Hate v. Chaos. We've got Wall, we've got Fast, we've got Bonk, we have moved the all-important ninja down to the second slot, and we've self-walled the top slot knight. Invis 2 going off, Chaos's first spell is Lightning 2, effectively a free turn. That ninja is going to continue to buff. We're a little scared of what it's capable of. Invis 2 going off. Ice Sword, one hit, one damage. That's a signal to bring out the Locks. Tornado takes out the Black Mage and brings the Ninja down to 100 health. The Ninja's gonna go for Lock Strats. Dodges a punch. Ice Sword, are you still doing anything? No, you're not. Four hits, four damage. We've finally flipped over to melee strats. Katana, what are you doing? 10 hits, 389. Great number of hits, not great number of damage. The knight's going to flip over to heal strats, just kind of auto-regen the party, try and keep us out of deadly AoE range. 9 hits 493. Damage is fine, we just we just need more of it. Invis 2, we really don't want any melee hits getting through. Heal helmet, heal helmet. Swing and fade. Incoming melee. Single tap on the knight for around 71. Katana, doing katana things, rolling real, real low. Let's see if Chaos has any other tricks to stop us. Fade for 142. Katana swing? Minus 381. Chaos still there. The Ice Sword is present. We're going through Lightning 2s. Stun is not going to do anything against us. 9 hits 385. The fight still goes on. We're real afraid of skills. We're not terribly afraid of spells, is what we're learning here. Incoming rub misses. Hey, do we get there? 174, chaos still up. 9 hits 460, chaos goes down. Hate, the first to finish on stream. Official race time, GG time. 1 hour, 20 minutes, 47 seconds. GG. Yes, GG. Meanwhile, if the tape is finished off, Tia 2 is about to him to take chaos himself i feel like i played for trash sometimes persistence is not a uh not a blessing hi hate how's it going it's been, i i kind of surprised i'm still conscious after rubbing my head into the wall so many times in ice and volcano those first 20 minutes yeah that um that was dumb so <laughs> quick question as infinite tape approaches our last fiend and 
chaos fight. Um, oh god, vampires. <laughs> uh, hey, armor shops, what do you have against them? Uh, I saw the gold Cheerios in Canaria and remembered those. I saw the pro ring somewhere and forgot them. And yeah, once I know where the once I know where the gold Cheerios are, I'm generally like, all right, that's good. Mm -hmm. As and, long as they roll up. And I'm just gonna steal this from uh, Ale in chat. Hate, we crown you the winner of this race. Yeah, you know, as I was about halfway over to ice, I was like. I had the crown, don't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure uh, yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty much the thing. It's like I hit the dwarfs, uh, mm -hmm. and it was yeah. All right. And as infinite tape approaches chaos, classic gamer, take it away. All right, so it, the tape's starting out with some punk traps. He's gonna temper in this two and fast. Chaos goes off the melee, not doing much. So the temper in this two comes up, raises our evasion a bit. Now we have fast on the night. See, more power bonk. He wants to really get some damage. Like temper strats, more in this two. And he's going to fast the ninja from the looks of it, who's leaning off of the fire three. And here comes the tornado. You know, gets the black mage a little low, but not terrible. Pass on the ninja, and there's two more evasion. Now the knight's going to swing. Ninja is good. Fire three again, and more invis two. And more temper. Knight swings. That's pretty decent. 545 there. Ninja, nah. Hi, Ninja. Thanks for contributing. <laughs> more evasion. We are afraid of chaos's melee. Another invis two. Tempering up that ninja. Seven hits, 546, that's pretty good. Invis 2 goes off. Tempering that ninja when you want a little more damage out of there. Pickle damage from Chaos with Lightning 2, but it's enough to take down the Black Mage. Six hits, 25. Melee, melee, and harm 4. So we're going full speed and power strats here. Chaos still there. Ice 2 doesn't do much. But then again, we don't have much left. There we go. Heal three. Knight swings. Pretty good damage there. Heal three. Topping us off. For even another nasty skill. But lightning two is not it. Ninja swings. So I missed the damage. Ninja swings again. Doing all right. And GG's. That finishes off chaos. That is uh, Infinite Tape finishing second place with a time of 1 hour, 24 minutes, and 28 seconds. We're going to see if we can get Infinite Tape in here for an interview. Yeah, I uh, I totally meant to swap to that Vorpal on my night and just memory hold it because, you know, too many, uh, too much head damage you know, <laughs> from running my head into the wall early on. I just did not remember. <laughs> too many concussions. Uh... While we're waiting for Infinite Tape, question uh, from our wonderful tracker, Danny. If Bicky gives you the crown, but you forget to turn it in, does it count as being Bickied? I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of an iffy thought on it, because I did remember to talk to Bicky. Mm -hmm. Just everything else after Bicky went to blank, because, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and we're joined in the booth by our second place finisher, Infinite Tape. How's it going? It's going muted for him, apparently. All right, we'll give him some time to work on minor technical difficulties. Hey, uh, I had something else I wanted to ask you that was not either of those two other things. Oh, how did you enjoy starting the game with 5,200 gold? Sweet Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Like thief entirely busted in with, hey, oh yeah, hey, I went and robbed a bank right before this. You guys want some? <laughs> uh, oop, and that is an infinite tape. I hear, GG. Uh, GG. Yeah, man. thank you. So, yeah. Um, how did that feel? 
Yeah, boy, those running into like a new ogre and getting I got pinned down at one point by mad ponies, you know, that mm-hmm. made the start feel really, really tough. And then I just I got greedy on that early ice cave run. Mm-hmm. I um you know, I knew I was low level going in. I should have passed on that last chest. But I'm like, oh, I've been doing pretty well, and then they just smashed me. Oh, so did you I run figured, you know, the oozes, the the mux. green thing, or the the yeah, uh, the mux. yeah, the glancing <laughs> yeah, thing. Mux. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, 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 yeah. They they did a great job of stoning me, and I figured, you know, if I lose within five minutes, that was definitely the key thing because that was the time I wasted so but I, I ended up with a good choice after that I was like mm-hmm. oh, I'll go get water all a shot and there was the eye so that made the rest of it go pretty smoothly so I I'm, I'm, I was okay with that it's I forgot worth... to turn in a crown for a very long time <laughs> it's worth noting that both of you wiped to the mucks in ice cave at pretty much exactly the same time but <laughs> infinite tape threw his hands in the air, went over to Northwest Castle, got in the air. Uh, Hate, you um, didn't. There's a wall here. I'm going to get my head through this thing one way or another. (laughs) And eventually you managed to complete going everywhere in the game that wasn't Northwest Castle. Well, you didn't go to Waterfall. You didn't, like, that was the one place you had left. And there was some real concern that you were going to be heading towards Waterfall. I am very glad that I at least <laughs> managed to fade on Rackon. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was. Yep. This was not exactly the best showing out of me. I am not going to lie. But, you know, as long as it was entertaining for the crowd, that's honestly, that's the thing that matters. So, yeah, I, I feel like as a as a duckling, you know, finishing anywhere within the 20 minute gap with between me and you know somebody who's experienced as hate i'm, I'm okay with it <laughs> it's real real weird to think myself as experienced but yeah i have been here <laughs> sweet christmas <laughs> all right and i think we're going to shuffle this along to final thoughts we'll start with our winner on stream hate Final thoughts. I'm going to get my head through this wall one way or another. (laughs) Whether my head makes it through or not, that's fine. (laughs) Uh, Infinite tape. Final thoughts. You know, surely I can beat chaos with a thief and a black mage, right? (laughs) No big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh... My Cocom's classic gamer. Final thoughts. Oh, it's been quite a first experience. I really enjoyed <laughs> commentating this. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a nasty inner sea like that. <laughs> I mean, also, boy, the weapons rolled lousy. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't think you saw it, hey, but I mean, Infinite Tape found the Xcal minus three and the oh. Forpo and Katana were minus one. glad i didn't find the xcal then <laughs> but you know honestly it's not like my knight was hitting for any amount of damage anyways mm-hmm. all right i want to give um a special shout out to the unsung hero of the run danny 3883 our wonderful queen of the trackers thank you so much for writing things down and making it seem like i know what i'm talking about shout outs to rpg limit break for letting us uh letting us host this shenanigans on their channel if you like what you saw go ahead and join the discord we have a duckling boot camp starting soon we have all kinds of um stuff going on with uh, training camps and learning resources to help get you into the game um stick around we have yet more spring turn or winter tournament action excuse me i'll get used to that at some point we have coming up at 7 p.m eastern on speed gaming 4 we got adr versus lord of the synth so go ahead and check that out for all of us at the final fantasy randomizer community my name is left from pumper and we will see you all next time have a good day everyone